In the last video, we talked about how the relationships of pedigrees work. Now, if you take a look at the pedigree that I created of my family, things look a little different right now. I've gone through and shaded a bunch of the different family members. And this is how a normal pedigree is going to appear to you. You're going to see some of the members are shaded and some are not. As we talked about in the last video, the shading means that they possess the trait that we are tracing. In this situation, we are going to look at who has blue eyes in my family. So what this means is that every member who is shaded right now has blue eyes. Now, we already know how blue eyes are inherited. We know that brown is dominant to blue. So what we're going to do with this pedigree is just figure out what everybody's genotype is. Sometimes, and we'll talk about this more on Monday, we have to take a look at the inheritance pattern that we see and try to figure out if it's a dominant trait that we're looking at or a recessive trait or if it could even be sex linked. Now, since we know that blue eyes are recessive, it makes some people's genotypes really easy to determine. We know that everyone who is shaded in is showing the recessive trait. So that means their genotype must be little b, little b. So that follows for my grandmother, my grandfather, my uncle Scott, my mom, my uncle Mark, my aunt Lisa, my sister-in-law Anna, myself, Mr. Giggler, Caroline, my cousin, as well as my niece, Olivia, and my son, Evan. Now, everybody else, we're going to assume, has brown eyes in this situation. What that means is we can go in and we know they have to have at least one big B. Now, we may not know what that other trait is yet, so I'm going to call it Big B blank. Big B blank. Big B blank. What this Big B blank means is that they could be Big B, Big B, or Big B, Little B. Now, for some of them, we are going to be able to fill in more information about them. Some of them, we will not be able to do that. So just in case you're confused on this, big B blank is the same thing as big B, big B, or big B, little b. It's allowing for that option for us. Now if we take a look at some of these inheritance patterns, there's some that we'll be able to figure out right away. Let's look at my brother, for example. When we look at my brother, his parents we know my mom was little b, little b, and my dad has a big b and something else. We're not sure yet. Now, my brother had to inherit his big b from my dad. So my dad passed on the big b to him. What did my mom have to pass on to my brother? Well, since she's little b, little b, the only thing she could have passed on to him would have been a little b. So my brother is no longer a big B blank because we know he must be big B little b. Take a look and see if there's anyone else on this pedigree who follows that same logic. Their parent has the recessive trait or shows the recessive trait, so they must also carry that recessive trait, even if they have brown eyes themselves. Pause the video, fill it out, and then check your work. Okay, hopefully you found that Mike has to be big B, little b, because his father would only be able to pass on a little b. Hopefully you discovered that Clay was big B, little b, because Lisa could only give him a little b. And that Jonathan, for the same reason, is big B, little b. We also would find, if I scroll down here, that Emma is in the same boat, because her mom, Anna, had to pass on a little b to her. Okay, so that takes care of some of the people. 
We also can figure out some information if we look at people's offspring. Take, for example, my dad. My dad is Big B blank. However, he had me and I have blue eyes. I got one of my little bees from mom, but I had to get the other little bee from dad, meaning that my father must be big B little B. In order to have a child with blue eyes, he has to be a carrier for the trait. Take a minute and see if there's anyone else who must be big B little B because they have a child that shows blue eyes. Pause the video and fill it in. Hopefully, you found that Tom is also in that same boat. Because Caroline has blue eyes, we know he must have that little B in his system. All right, if we look at the pedigree, this leaves us with two people who we have not filled any information in, and that's Jen and Terry. Now, we don't know a ton of information about Jen or Terry in this pedigree. We look at Jen and we don't know information about her parents. She doesn't have any offspring unless you count Jen and Scott's dogs as their children, but they don't fit on the pedigree. Terry only has one child, and he has brown eyes. We know Terry had to give that big B to her son, Mike, so we don't know what her other gene would have been. She could be big B, big B, or she could be big B, little B. We don't know, and since we're not sure, we're just going to leave it like this. Hopefully, this makes a little bit of sense. On Monday, we'll go through a couple more examples like this, and we'll talk about how to identify what way the traits are being inherited. So have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.